You mentioned the tornado drought, and that is also something that you've written upon recently, uh, comparing the rash of tornadoes, really historic tornadoes in 2011, versus a uh, uh, relative dearth of tornadoes uh, in the spring of, of 2013. What, what can you tell us about that? If you look at the statistics of climate over the last 60 years, we would expect the sort of tornado maelstrom we saw in 2011 to be a 1 in 62,000 year event by one calculation. And conversely, over the past 12 months, that's kind of a, a tornado drought you'd expect to see maybe one in every 3,000 years. So some very extreme sorts of statistics we're looking at. And what we've experienced the last 60 years really isn't a very good measure of what's going on now. The climate has changed to make extremes more likely, it appears, with tornadoes. Okay, it, meaning we, we can't really tell yet whether we're going to have more or less, or maybe just whipsaw back and forth between uh, too many and, 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 and relatively few. Yeah, a really important question is which of these two extremes is more likely going forward? And really, science can't tell us that. I mean, we're looking at some very unpredictable sorts of atmospheric gyrations here. And the, the two things that most influence tornadoes, we don't know how they're going to change in the future. On the one hand, the surface will warm, which tends to drive stronger updrafts and make a more unstable atmosphere, creating more tornadoes. But on the other hand, we expect wind shear, which is kind of the change of wind speed and direction with height, that should decrease in the future, meaning you have less sort of shearing motion on the air to get it spinning and make tornadoes. So we don't really know how those two factors are going to interplay to change tornadoes in the future. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, to see a lot of extreme years like 2011, or maybe conversely, this past year will become the new normal. It's hard to tell at this point.